scholars of both heaven and hell, this query is known as the Riddle of Sorrows. If sin is itself a part of the grand design, is not sin, then, by definition, divine? A question for the sages, the one particularly restless bunch kept a robust relationship to the topic. The Nephilim. Spawn of angels and demons. Warriors, relentless, unstoppable, blood mad. Until they were betrayed by four of their own. War, death, fury, Strife, the four horsemen of the apocalypse. Inconceivable power was bestowed upon the traitors by those sworn to maintain symmetry, twixt order and chaos. The charred council. Bear witness as the council holds court to end the Nephilim war in the name of balance. This is the new path. War, bringer of worldwide fire. You are the juggernaut of all pain. Death, dark soul of eternity. You are the deepest decay. You are anti-life. Strife, endless spirit of timeless unrest. You are all that is unsettled in the hearts of that which lives. Step forward and recognize Hoffman. You are the most impatient of your kin. The least predictable, dancing on the edge of your own reality. Your brothers understand the undertaking set before them. But do you? Still talking! Shall I have death fetch us some tea, or can we get on with it? Fury. Your role in this story is yet to be written. I wonder, will you light the flame of creation anew? Or stomp out the embers for good? <laughs> Dreams more thrilling than reality. Had I known the new patch would be so exciting, I would have let walls separate my head from my neck then and there. Is it possible to die of boredom? Rampage. <laughs> Bored as I am. Perhaps you're just lazy. If I didn't love you so much, I'd kill you just for something to do. The call? Finally. Please, please, please tell me you're a planet of demons that needs slaying. Or two. War. What pathetic fate have you brought upon yourself, brother? Watch your tongue. <laughs> I may be least favored of all the horsemen, but my tongue never found me chained to a rock like some dog. Fury, approach us. I take it there is a mess that needs tending to. Though you jest, you speak truth. War has broken his vows to this council and shattered the seventh seal. <sighs> the apocalypse. Why would he... We know not. As we speak, Earth falls beneath the spears of heaven and the hammers of hell. So the horsemen are to ride. No. While the Charred Council seeks to understand how and why the 
the Traitor War has committed this abominable act. There is a matter that requires delicate attention. We should have called Strife. He's the delicate one. The seven deadly sins have been released. By whom we cannot say. But the seven roam the earth. Free of our prison. The balance between order and chaos is already in jeopardy. The seven cannot be left unchecked. War is in chains. Death is missing. Strife attends to other matters. The last time you faced the sins, it required all four of you. I can handle those fools in my sleep. But when this task is complete, I demand that you grant me my rightful place leading the horsemen. If you would trade obedience for a title, so be it. But never make a demand upon us, horsemen. Greetings, Miss Fury. I must admit, this is a fortuitous fate. A Watcher? You doubt my allegiance? Please, be not cross. I am such an admirer. Scratch that. I'm a fan. You are the horseman. The only one that matters. Enough! Just stay out of my way. I will be as unto a shadow. Steadfast. Silent. More silent! Go! Seek out the place called Haven. Your quest for the seven deadly begins there. Fury. Wait. I... Whatever has passed between us, search your heart. I cannot believe I am guilty of these crimes. Something is wrong with the universe. Be vigilant, Fury. Forces conspire against us. Heed my word! What's up, boys and girls? This is Scyther4077, and welcome to Darksiders 3. This is part one. I realized I should have started this game about a month ago, but I had, well, I've been busy and everything like that. So now I have the time. I'm going to be putting the videos out, and they're going to be available on YouTube and Facebook. Uh, my uh, Facebook channel, video channel, which is going to be Let's Play It videos. So you can find them in a couple of places if you'd like. Uh, definitely want to rate, comment, subscribe, or even suggest however you want, uh, whatever you want to do. Uh, definitely leave some comments and everything like that. But anyways, uh, let's get the in the stick, you know, in the thick of things here. <laughs> definitely, uh, well, we're working with Fury. That's, uh, and of course, this is the third installment of the Dark Sider series. The first one was um, it was pretty linear. You had certain weapon types you could get and everything like that. Uh, upgrade them and everything like that. And uh, of course, there were different enemies, certain enemy types and everything like that. Dark Siders two, they really expanded on the enemies. And um, they also, I noticed, uh, well, that's when they added, the, of course, the color-coded weapon armor, uh, you know, weapon and armor uh, and skill trees, okay? But uh, especially the color-coded would be the armor and the weapons and everything like that. Well, not anymore, not with this one. Um, basically, uh, every weapon in the game that you can acquire, okay, you, is upgradable. Okay, so uh, now, of course, you have to use a uh, certain material to to upgrade them, and it is, uh, uh, I believe it's uh, it's called Adamantine. I think I'm saying that right, I hope. <laughs> now, I haven't played much of this game yet, but I can tell you this, all right? I started off on challenging, but I had to set it to normal because this is like a Dark Souls light type game, all right? Not really Dark Souls, but Dark Souls light. Uh, it's it's actually pretty challenging. You can't expect to, you know, beat beat some enemies, you know, certain enemies or whatever, 18 times in a row. You know, you've got to hit them maybe three times in a row and then move, dodge, okay? And that's the thing about this game uh, that you have to kind of get used to, which obviously if you've played a lot of Dark Souls, you know, that's something that you can be used to. And, and you just got to have the patience to be able to, to be able to do that and everything like that. But... Um, and not even just, I mean, Dark Souls is just one example, but like, uh, say, Lords of the Fallen or 
Bloodborne. You know, this is kind of like the light version of that. And I'm sure on the higher difficulties, it's probably, it could probably hold, uh, you know, it will be able to hold a candle to those games. But I'm going to shut up for right now so you can watch this cutscene, and I will be right back, okay? Cool. Haven. A haven for what? Vermin? Humans, mistress. Adorable. Build a house of sticks during the end of the world. Where exactly do we go from here, Watcher? I... I know not but what the Council commands, Mistress. The quest for the Seven begins here. Envy. Mine! Human! Haven! Everything here! <laughs> Mine! Move on, Horseman! Or ye be I'm on a mission. <laughs> Protecting humans? Humans think creation favors them. They are apes crawling through dirt. <laughs> <laughs> Quite the grudge you're carrying. Nothing left. They will be my playthings until they break. <laughs> you cannot stop me. <laughs> oh, I don't want to. Humanity is tragically overrated. I am not here for them. I'm all yours. No! Okay, so obviously this boss is named Envy. I. When I saw that, when I first saw this boss, okay, <laughs> I swear it's a spitting image of uh, Skekung, okay? It's one of the Skeksis races from the movie The Dark Crystal. Look it up if you haven't seen it. Um, I, I, I mean, I grew up with, that was one of the movies I grew up with. That was a long time ago. I don't even remember what year that came out, but it was, I know it was in the early 80s. Wonderful movie. Uh, matter of fact, I haven't watched it in a long time. I'm going to have to throw that in. But uh, that was a spitting image of of that uh, character, which is uh, really strange. But, uh, I mean, hey, they, it could have been a tip of the hat to them, or maybe they just didn't even realize when they did the character creation that it was going to be almost a spitting image of that character from the Dark Crystal. But anyways, um, this fight, uh, it can get tedious. I had a fighter a couple times before I actually got the gist of it. I don't know what happened there. I should have hit, I should have hit a double jump and then... Now, if you don't do it in time, if you don't get her in time, she see how she attacked pretty much took all my out the way yeah so uh you know you gotta be careful now i am gonna use um i am gonna use because i think i have a health shard or whatever it's called i forget what it's called you know but i haven't played it in a little bit but i you know um oh whoa, i can't believe i actually caught that oh my god i better hurry up she's gonna just start attacking again and i just get her with that spin attack so as far as weapons go, I want to go back to this real quick. Uh, there's, there isn't really that many weapons throughout the game. There's only about, I don't know, six of them. Okay. But, um, and like I said, you know, you you do need that certain, uh, or ch well, like, a, I, don't know, I guess you could call them chunks or whatever, of adamantine, you know. And... I guess, uh, I don't know, I, you know, you're going to be able to find them here and there. I'm sure you could probably look it up to find them, but some of the weapons that you, that you can get, I don't want to spoil everything, obviously, um, you know, but there's uh, some of the weapons you can get, the Barbs of Scorn, which is actually the starting weapon, that's what we're using now, so, I mean, there ain't no spoiler there, right? <laughs> um, but uh, there's also, and I can't wait to see this, I can't wait to, to get this in, is the uh, Salvation, which is a boomerang. Um I've, I'm, I've yet to see that. I want to. I want to find out what that's all about. And of course, remember from the first Dark Siders, we did have that boomerang type weapon. I forget what it was called, but um, I use that a lot, especially on those acid spitting demons in Dark Siders, in the first Dark Siders. But um, yeah, so and like I said, there's about six weapons you can get, but you can upgrade them all. You know. Uh, I, but you just got to find the, the the right material to do it. So, so this boss isn't too bad. You just got to be careful. She does this when towards the end. She does this like three times. 
you know, slams to the ground. But now, right here, we are about good to go. Now, we are coming to the end of this video. I realize it was kind of a short video. But, um, and of course, we get green with envy. <laughs> Trophy there. For all you play on the PS4. I'm sure it's the same achievement. Really. But anyways, coming to the end of this video, we are going to be back with the next video shortly. Part 2 of Darksiders 3. But until then, listen, this is Scyther4077 saying take care and cheers so long. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. Check out my Facebook channel, which is Let's Play It Videos. As well as, um, you know, my YouTube channel under Scyther4077. But until next time, boys and girls, thank you so much for watching. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Okay? Bye-bye. This talisman, it's a vessel. Envy used it to hold energies from the rest of the Seven. It will make a fitting prison for the others once their physical forms have been broken. If I may, there is a... Well, a sort of hum emanating from the talisman. That blow... Will indicate when one of the seven is nearby. I know. So wise. You are all that the council promised, mistress. I'm beginning to enjoy the sound of your voice, Watcher.